Welcome, bienvenue, and welcome to King's Quest 1 Live with Light. And Nixius is debating on starting to code a new game or not. Well, that mostly depends on did you finish the last one? Because if you actually finished the previous one, then sure. But a lot of people will start in on new projects before they actually finish the previous one. And it's just not good. You, you need to finish what you start. Okay. Let's minimize that. Stream indeed. Stream, stream, stream. Yeah, those are good, those are good, those are good. And we get this over there so we can see things and stuff and whatnot. <laughs> yes. Other Musa Musauglu. Hmm. Musauglu. Musauglu? Hmm. Yes, the original King's Quest. In our youth. Yes. I didn't actually play this one. I came in on number four. So we're going into King's Quest one completely blind. Hey there, Power Flash. Well, not completely. I played through the introduction, which is listening to an old man talk. And I tested to make sure that you can die just as easily as you're supposed to, and that the game actually runs properly, and it does. I didn't try saving, so we might run into a problem there. But yeah, we should be good. So let's get that introduction going. Um, people are unlikely to miss it if we miss it. Oh, can you hear a dog? Huh. Neighbors have dogs, they bark. And you'll notice, this is very much made by the same people as the Colonel's Bequest. King Edward, the benevolent age rule of Daventry has summoned you to the castle for reasons unknown. Castle Guard. Greetings, Sir Graham. The king is expecting you. Allow me to escort you to his majesty's throne room. Thank you, Sir Knight. Raise the Lord Callus. I am at your service, my king. I am an old man, Sir Graham. Perhaps too old to carry the weight of this crown. My bones ache, my hands tremble. I'm afraid my time on earth grows short. But enough about me. Great misfortunes have befallen Daventry since the loss years ago of three magical treasures. I've chosen you, the finest knight in all of Daventry, to search for these lost treasures. Only then can this kingdom be restored to its former glory. And only then may I rest with the knowledge that my people are safe. The first treasure is a magic mirror that foretells the future. The second is a magical shield that protects the bearer from all mortal harm. The third and last is an enchanted chest that is forever filled with gold. I know what I ask is difficult, nay, perhaps impossible. The dangers are many. But you are brave and pure of heart. That's why I chose you to volunteer. If you succeed, you will inherit my crown and will rule the realm of Daventry as her rightful king. Go, Sir Graham, and know that the fate of Daventry lies in your hands. Take heart, my king. I shall not fail you. 
Walk, 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 walk. It's a weird walk you got there, Graham. Yeah, that, that does seem like a good idea, Pie Guy, to find the mirror and look into the future to find where the other items are. Except perhaps you could see into the future and see the many, 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 many ways that you're going to be tortured and killed along the way. And that probably kills you and then you forget it and you're fine. So let's start up the game. I love that portcullis noise. Okay. Now we hit escape to look at the menus because we forgot to do this the first time with Colonel's Bequest. Save game, F5, restore game, F7, restart game, F9. Hmm, might need that one. Duck! Except my duck. Jump, pause, inventory, retype. So control P, pause, control P, print. Getting killed by that music and sounds. Hey there, James Carson. Welcome to the stream again. Speed! Lovely Tess. And sound. So, we have duck, and we have jump, and we have save. So, let's save first. Hmm. Need to have a... Well, this probably has the same restrictions on save games that Colonel's Bequest did. So... Let's start with P. Okay. Duck. Hey, look, he's ducking. He cannot walk while ducking. <laughs> you are too busy right now. You cannot jump while ducking. Jump. Look at that lame jump. You are the worst, Graham. Hey there, sugar. You have not slept through this stream. Oh, you can even see yourself reflected in the water. And in good old Sierra game fashion. Oh no, we can't swim. And we get eaten by a moat monster. Thanks for the host, Wayne. Oh, it's wearing my hat. Thanks for the host, bye guy. The moat monsters appreciate your good taste. <laughs> oh, that felt a little too much like Guild of Dungeoneering right there. And then make sure we can restore from P. And we can! Talk to guard. Stoneface guards must have been trained not to converse with anybody. They ignore you, Sir Graham. Take spear. You won't be needing that on your quest, Sir Graham. Oh, I think I will. Take armor. You won't be needing that. Mm. Uh, poke guard. Punch. Guard. Wrong Dragon 2, welcome. Playing some Patsy Ball and posting it to YouTube. Brilliant! Uh, take guard. Okay. Trip guard. Uh, push guard. Pull. Guard. So many things we can't do. Mm, fine, moving on. We came from the right, so we're going to the left. Oh, that's lame. Ooh, look, moat. You never know what sort of fierce creatures lie just beneath the surface of the moat. Oh, I know. I have met them. And we have a path. Can we right-click on things like we could in Colonel's Bequest? We can, large gray rock. 
This rock is less distinctive than the one next to it. Huh. Well, that's weird. Ah, uh, Packrat does it often at the end of his Spelunky videos. I don't watch a lot of Packrat. Move rock. Good job, Graham. The ro the moving rock rolls downhill and right into you. A crushing defeat. Ha! <laughs> uh, thanks for the host. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay, so the moral of this game is apparently save before you do literally anything. Because everything can, and probably will, kill you. Let's speed this up a bit. Alright, uh, sign. Save, move, rock. A small shove, you managed to push the rock a few feet, revealing a shallow hole underneath. Look, hole. There's an intricately carved dagger in the hole. Take, dagger. You reach into the hole and grasp the dagger, being careful not to cut yourself. Good job. Good job, Graham. You have successfully picked up a dagger without dying. Oh, man. Let's save because we don't want to have to do that again. Uh, I wasn't planning on going up, but up is as good a place as any. Giant tree. It's the largest oak tree you've ever seen. Its trunk seems to be about 10 feet around, and the thick, sturdy branches look like they could hold many times your weight. Well, then I guess we should climb it. Hope it's not a merc tree. Climb tree. Finding plenty of footholds in the coarse bark of the tree, you easily clamber up the trunk to the branches above. Something tells me we're going to fall out of this tree and die. Hello. Oh, great. Oh, jeez. This is going to be so bad. F5. Uh, okay, first, we have to fall out of the tree. Kaplonk. Oh, that's... Brilliant. I don't know if I lost any score, though. So we're going to reload regardless. Okay, we didn't lose any score. Whew. Do I play piano? A little bit. I'm, I'm okay. Not great. Take egg. <sighs> of course, we're not close enough. We're kicking up our not close enough quota. Um, hello? Why can't I? Oh, geez. Don't. What is my best instrument? Um. Pro probably tenor saxophone. But I'm pretty comparable. Uh, don't fall off. <clears throat> um, I'm I'm pretty comparable on clarinet and alto sax as well. <clears throat> I 
Uh, let's minus it down a bit. Oh, that's... Take egg. Okay. Whew. Now the question is, can we get back down without falling and potentially breaking the egg? Oh, slowing down time is so nice. I probably should have saved first. <laughs> oh, you can't change time while he's climbing down. Okay. F5. Save. Uh, okay. East is pretty much towards the castle, so I think I'm going to go north. Oh, we have a door. Don't be afraid. Get close enough for a good look. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's totally safe. What in tarnation is player.me? It's a social network, but for games. Except my duck. Is that my own custom meme? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, almost 10% done. Easy peasy. No, don't. Don't go there. Okay, so save, as always. Let's get close. Take a good look. Huge wooden door has been built into the base of a steep mountain. You notice a large keyhole in the door. Look. Hole. Look. Keyhole. It's a gold lock somewhere. There is a key that fits this lock. Pick. Lock. Perhaps if you'd attended the famous adventurer's correspondence school, you'd know how to pick locks. Sadly, you don't. How do you know what to type in these kinds of games? You type everything until something works. <laughs> uh, you also have to think like a 1980s programmer. Because it has to be able to be parsed by the simplest program ever written. Because this entire game, music, graphics and all, is smaller than your average audio file these days. Uh, yeah, let's break door. I know it's not going to work, but you have to try. You strike the door with all your might. Unfortunately, the door doesn't give an inch. Try playing the old text-based games your dad used to play. You're always too specific. Oh, yeah. It's real easy to be over-specific in this game. Burn door. We don't have any fire, but... Please try to find another word for burn. Ignite door uh, yeah if it doesn't know those two it's not gonna know incinerate uh okay let's keep going north we'll eventually make our way in that door oh we went over the hill oh we've got a squirrel Squirrel seems hesitant about climbing its favorite walnut tree with you standing around. I see. Take walnuts. Choose a big meaty looking walnut from the bunch scattered around. Why do I want a walnut?
No, don't go up there. Go back. Watch squirrel. Hmm. Give walnut to squirrel. There is totally a squirrel. Squirrel is one one that you've touched. Fine. Okay, so the squirrel wants to climb the tree, but doesn't. Because we're here. Oh, we should save. It's a good way to get yourself killed. Uh, hit tree. Open walnut. When you open the walnut, you discover the nut inside is pure gold. This is a weird walnut tree. Convert squirrel to communism so it's paid equally and everyone else says, okay. Yeah, hiding does seem like a good idea. Okay. Okay, so we have a gold egg and a gold walnut. Hmm. <clears throat> Do I play Civ 5? I own it, but I have not played it yet. Okay, we'll keep thinking about what to do with that squirrel on our way north. Craggy rocks scattered around the forest. You hate to think of what's underneath them. Twisted trees make it look very strange. I mean, I did play pick up more nuts. I'm not sure I need more nuts, but I might go back for more. <clears throat> no way. Who knows what squirmy, slimy creatures are looking underneath. But, but I want the strange, creepy creatures underneath. Why I'm here. Over the hill. There's a moldering old stump here, rotting to pieces. Trees here are stunted, twisted. They give you the heebie-jeebies. Numerous small rocks and boulders in this part of the forest. Even this slightly dismal part of the forest, the bushes grow well in the bright Daventry sun. This place looks really dull. Look in stump. Well, that does not help at all. Continue. Oh! There's a small dwarf right nearby. Be careful, this slide little chap is trouble. And we're back here. We have walked the entire way around the world. Robot? Why am I a robot? I don't even have any heat going on. Weird. Hmm. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Very robot -y. Hmm. 
check, check. Robot, check. Uh, what could we do to help with the robot? I will be right back. Okay, we are back. How is it now? Good, good, good. Good. Uh, I turned off the uh, the adaptive noise reduction. Uh, so hopefully this will make it not quite as bad for quite as long. Okay, so we don't want to kill the dwarf. If we can avoid Oh, geez. So let's go a little bit to the west. If possible. Come on, Graham. <laughs> you can do it. What company owns Game Microsoft? Okay, so we've got a lake with fish and a tree. Robot again! Ah. I don't know what's causing it then. Let me take a look at something. No, there's... Nothing that should be doing it. Let me check another thing. Yeah, it's odd that my bandwidth just keeps going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. That's really, really strange. Yeah, and Beam is dropping frames. And anytime it drops frames, it's gonna... It's gonna go robot -y whenever frames are dropped. It's probably a Windows update, actually. Oh, well, no. I mean, there's... There's nothing that should be using it. I did not turn off sub-second latency. Not yet. That's probably the next step. Because the next step is we need to turn off one of our OBSs. So we either need to turn off YouTube or we need to turn off low latency. Like, I don't like leaving out YouTube folk, but we have a regular over on YouTube. Yes, Sugar, I know there is lo there is sub-second delay, but I'm dropping frames there. And when you drop frames on low latency, it goes all robot, like right then. Drop two frames. No apparent reason. Um, ooh, I have an idea. 
We are playing a super old school game. I can turn down the bit rate on both, really. Um, but I'm going to try it on the YouTube one first. Okay, it's still dropping a few frames here on Beam, though. Like, it just dropped nine frames there for no good reason. Uh, so let's see whether or not we can make that happen on Beam as well. Okay, it's loading. So I don't know whether it's coming from Restreamio or if it's coming from the other one. It's probably coming from Restream. So we're going to watch this for a little bit. It should be back live on YouTube momentarily, if not right now. Um, okay, so let's give it a little bit of time. When we initially start these things up, it has some issues. But it seems to be holding relatively steady now. But my voice is robotic? Why is my voice robo? Oh, uh... One more. What about now? Super Roboty now? Robot, robot, robot? Robot. Oh, there go the frames. Temperature seems fine. Frame rate is not exactly stable, but it's certainly better. I mean, we're going to have delay. That's just the name of the game. We... It's not super great. Oh, there goes the robot again. I, I saw it. I saw it drop. Okay, so I need to yell at my ISP or my computer or something, but we'll try to get this going. If it gets too robotic, please let me know. Oh, there it goes again. What? It dropped to zero, went to 60. Mm. You make me so mad sometimes. 
Okay, let's try to play the game Lush Trees. Pebbles on the edge. Smooth pebbles. Take pebbles. Didn't hear any robot, don't think it has to do with the dropping. Okay. Well, that's good. Because it definitely does in FTL. I've seen it happen in streams I've watched. Um, okay, so we have some pebbles. Five smooth, rounded pebbles. Okay. Oh, I can't lower the audio bit rate. The audio rate causes it to not stream at all. Like it refuses to start if I change anything with the audio. Old cottage, someone's clearly in there. Gonna go to YouTube since no FTL. Okay. Uh, this place looks a lot like that other place. So when you were in seventh grade, did you make comics about political commentaries on communism? Probably not. Small hole. Small hole means save. Hole appears to go deep down through the rock into the ground below. You can barely make out a faint greenish glow somewhere far inside. Hmm. We need to be much smaller to fit through that hole. Hmm. Why am I making it my saves more letters of a word? Because I think it's fun. Hmm. That seemed ineffectual. I want my pebble back. What is fun? I only know work! And equal pay for all. Oh, we're in a spoopy forest. This part of the forest, the trees are twisted and misshapen, leading to an eerie feel to the place. And the rocks in this part of the forest seem more jagged and unfriendly. Watch your step. They're everywhere. Okay. Come on. I want one of the trees to grab me. Hmm. Welcome back, Rowan Dragon. What video were you watching? Okay, fine. They're not gonna do anything for me. Oh, we have another pond. Is this one gonna throw a sword at us? <clears throat> Sunlight glistens on the rippling lake water. And the evergreens around it. Okay. F5, save. We still can't swim, so... Take fish. You won't be needing any fish on your quest. How do you know that, game? All right, you're the game.
The water of this crystal clear lake is especially cold and crisp. The leprechauns use it to brew their dandelion wine. Oh. Try a video about the speed of falling. Hmm. Make wine. Latency is pretty low on YouTube. How low is it? That was pretty low. Hey, eight seconds is kind of low. Oh, right. I didn't want to go over here. Oh, that one really looks like it's going to grab you. Okay, apparently this game is just rocks and trees. <clears throat> so like that doesn't know on the hangout and discord while we watch. Eh. I mean, chat's chat. That warning, a wolf darts out of the bushes and runs straight for you. Look out. Don't let him catch you. Stab wolf with dagger. Well, that was unfortunate. How many times have you been told not to wolf down your food? Restore. Wonder if that'll happen every time. How was I supposed to not let it catch me? Okay, so we need something to pacify the wolf with. That's fine. We'll find something eventually. Equip dagger. Wield. Oh, that's not how you spell wield. With a screech and a cackle, a witch swoops down from the skies above. Look out! She dips and turns and tries to catch you! Okay, so we need a bucket of water. Hey, look! A bucket! weathered old bucket has served the kingdom for years and years. It still holds water as well as it did on the day it was made. Turn crank. I personally would find it very easy. Old bucket disappears into the darkness. Maybe Sam with a feather in your hat. Have I played this one? No. Um, yeah, better than the last bucket we saw, for sure. A lot more resonant, too. Oh, we're going to hear that a lot, aren't we? Empty? Weird. Because no one else appreciates her gram as much as I. Perhaps not. Climb in bucket. 
This was a brilliant plan! Okay, take water. Um, exit bucket. Take water. Do not have a bucket to put the water in. Okay, enter bucket. Uh, now how do we get back out? Yeah, apparently I can swim here. Uh, exit bucket. Dive, dive. Seems like a terrible idea. Take chest. This isn't the chest you're looking for. <laughs> oh. Open chest. chest. Fine, we'll go this way. Exit water. Well, that went better than expected. I just love that it said this isn't the chest you're looking for. Oh. Oh. Well, hello, dragon. Um, well, let's start a new save for this one. So how do we quietly get past the dragon? Very slowly, I imagine. Hello. Don't mind me. Give egg to dragon. So it's not interested in anything I have. Throw dagger at dragon. That was way more effective than it should have been. With unerring aim, the dagger streaks through the air and pierces the soft, unprotected skin under the dragon's throat. The dragon convulses for a moment and then crashes lifeless to the hard cavern floor. Okay. I didn't want to have to kill it. I don't particularly enjoy that. I might need that dagger later. Take dagger. Okay. Take mirror. You take the magic mirror. Congratulations. <laughs> Look in mirror. As you gaze into the mirror, 
Magic Mirror, you see a reflection of yourself as king of this land of Daventry. Well, that's about as unhelpful as one could hope. Huge chunk of granite. Boulder is far too heavy to move. That boulder is very suspicious. Very suspicious. Yeah, call Etho, get him blow up the granite with some TNT. Would be a great idea. Okay, so. Take. Dragon. The dragon is dead. He has ceased to be. Bereft of life, he rests in peace. Best to get on with the game and forget this sad creature. Yeah, I really don't like that. <laughs> uh... Panthe was before it. What's my thought on fidget spinners? I mean, they're okay. I have not personally experienced one, so I don't know how they are. Talk to dragon. Think again, when this dragon talks, things have a tendency to catch fire. Like so. This is an X dragon. <laughs> By venturing too close to the dragon's flame, you made an ash of yourself. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, good job, game. <clears throat> okay, I don't I don't like having killed the dragon. But we know where it is, we know how we can get it. So, I'm going to restore before having killed the dragon and we'll come back because we don't need the mirror as far as I know. Unlock chest. Ah, fine. We'll go. Enter bucket. Climb rope. Upper body strength. Good job, Sir Graham. You're awesome. Okay, so we know the dragon is in the well. We need to think of a way of keeping him asleep. Because we don't want to mur murder poor innocent dragons. More fish, more boulders, more trees. Don't know what to do with this, if anything. And we're back to the woodcutter's place. We probably don't want to take his axe. At least not right away. Permanently wedged. Ancient rusty water pump. Uh, 
pump. Doesn't work. Fine. Yeah, we probably need to talk to the woodcutter about getting the axe, though. He's likely much stronger than we are. Woodcutter speaks to you, his voice broken with sorrow. Oh, his poor wife. We would welcome you to our home, Sir Knight, but we have had no food for so long. My beautiful wife cannot even rise from her bed, I fear. She may die soon. I need the pitcher to go fetch her some water. What are you... Ah, fiddle. Ancient rusty water pump that pumps ancient rusty water. Indeed. Okay, so we need some food. Kill the wolf and cook it up. We could um, just keep looking, maybe catch some fish. Well, this place looks creepy. Can't give him a... Well, I suppose you could try to give him a golden walnut. Or the golden egg. Either one, I mean, poverty. Give walnut to wood cutter. Reload. Yeah, I would like to kill the snake. <laughs> You'll wind up with a useless dead snake and a guilty conscience. Okay, then take the live snake. Fine. Wait, why was I able to just walk through that? Oh, great. Hmm. Yeah, this is food. Uh, let's see. Do not take the children. Take... Candy. Of course I won't. Open door. She's gonna throw me into the stove, aren't they? Thanks for following, K. Whoa! Okay, so we've got a big old pot. 
We've got a handkerchief. Oh, a note on the table. Goopy. Okay. Open cabinet. Take cheese. Run away. Save game. <clears throat> How am I doing? I'm doing all right. Beam has been a little feisty today. My voice was going all robot -y. It was dropping frames. Weird things were going on. How do they get a pink name? Pink names on Beam are pro accounts. So partnered streamers get pro for free. Other people can pay for it. Uh, so we saved. We're going back in. We want that note. Go, go, run, move quickly, or the witch catches us. Take note. Run. Run, Graham, run. We don't want to kill anyone, not even witches or dragons. No, not down. It's where you run into a witch. Have a good one, Nixius. Oh, well, can't load Beam anymore. That's no good. At least there's still YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna go through the middle, because it was safe last time. Phew. Okay, I'm gonna save it one more time. And then read the note. There's a message written on the note. Sometimes it is wise to think backwards. Okay. Give cheese to woodcutter. Meager gift of food. Fine, if you don't want the cheese, I'll find something better. Uh, okay. But. That probably means this entire vertical row is complete. We've seen everything here. Uh, we know we want to talk to the woodcutter and give him some food. <laughs> better than cheese? What is better than cheese, frog? Tell me! Tell me what is better than cheese! I know there's a bit of delay. So I'll give you a little time. To say, to crush your enemies and see them driven before you and hear the lamentations of their cheeses. Another lake. Surrounded by a pretty meadow. Shade and beauty. Shade and beauty. And I forgot, in King's Quest, there are certain places where you actually can just swim. But 
there are certain places where if you swing swim too long, you get eaten by a shark. Pretty meadow. A bed of wildflowers. Not edible. Take wildflower. Take flower. Why would it be a shame? Oh, right, we're not courting any ladies in this game. That's the next one. Okay, we got some birds. They cannot feed themselves. One of the oldest, grandest trees in all of Daventry. We walked quite a ways without dying. So death is just around the corner. Oh, we've got a cave. Feed birds with cheese. Feed woodcutter with birds. Maybe there's food in the cave. Maybe this leads to the uh, granite boulder on the other side of the dragon. Huge piece of granite. So yeah, that's right behind the dragon. So what good would this even do? Push boulder. Break boulder. I mean, I don't have anything that'll really help. Pull boulder. Can't move it. Don't have any dynamite. Knock. It's not a bad idea. Uh, are there ever stalagmites not underneath stalactites? Um, it's unlikely because the method of formation would be that the, the sedimentary type rocks would have accumulated from the dripping water. You wouldn't be able to build it up like that without something dripping from above it. Um, oh, right. Say, open sesame. Say, friend. Speak, friend. Fine. We'll think about this some more. Try to find a pickaxe from the dwarf. What's the elvish word for friend? If only I knew. If only I knew. Goat! It's a goat! Oh, there's probably a troll bridge if there's a goat. How do you get a goat to follow you? Next to you is an old fallen tree trunk. It's crumbling and rotten and holds no interest for you. Unless you have a fascination with termites. Take termites. 
Oh no! All right, this is the wrong alarm. I had to change my alarm because my rehearsal time changed. Fret not, the time is not now. Still have 45 minutes. They're obviously more afraid of you than you are of them. Leave them alone. Look in log. Kick log. Fine, fine. Look in stump. Take pouch. No, not putch. Take pouch. Open pouch. Open the pouch and see many sparkling and flashing diamonds. Quickly you close it again and so as not to lose any. Okay. So we've got a golden egg, a golden walnut, and some diamonds. Let's save after finding us some Diamonds. This place is familiar. All right, Melo. Honestly, what are you on about? It's from Lord of the Rings. And of the Minds more, you speak friend to enter. What's the elvish word for friend? Which is Melo. Still odd that you'd say the elvish word to open a dwarvish door, but so it goes. Uh, we did just save, so let's cross this bridge. Hmm. I was expect to be. <laughs> I was expecting to be eaten by a troll. Is this the troll bridge? That doesn't look like much of a bridge. There he is. Talk to troll. Well, what we got here? You think you go across my bridge, do you? Not for free, you ain't. You do realize this world is round, don't you? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Hey, why is the troll English? They're all English. I'm just not very good at English accents. Oh, right. We need to have him kill us. F5. Push troll. You push the troll as hard as you can. Unfortunately, the troll doesn't budge an inch. Fine, he won't kill us. Are those berries? Take berries. Okay, no berries. What about the tree? An oversized dwarf maple. Why would you say that? What do you do with maple trees? I don't know. Don't know what you do with maple trees. Okay, this looks like a nice place. type of flowers? Are they dandelions? I want to 
Make some wine. Another unremarkable specimen of the hundreds of bushes in Daventry's forests. Yeah, epic dragon killing skills, but can't handle a troll. That is 100% true. Granted, I could probably kill him. Like, I could probably take my dagger and stab him in his silly troll face. Take loud. What? Really? X mine? <laughs> hmm. We'll keep considering those flowers. And we're back at the goat. Ooh, that looks cool. What are you? You are nothing of interest. These rocks must lead to some sort of underground spring. You remind yourself to explore their nooks and crannies sometime when you don't have so much work to do. Dive, dive, dive. Very deep here. Without aid, it's impossible to swim for any length of time. So, what we need is aid. And we're back here. To the left. And the trolls here too. Okay, we'll go the other way. Another nice little pond. So many nice ponds in this town. What I need is a fishing pole. That's what I need. This looks like I'm going to be eaten by a wolf. Ah! What's going on? Who are you? What do you want? No, you're not. Go hillbill ham fishing, eh? <laughs> yep, in the lake. That, yeah. Hillbilly hand fishing is the way to go. I already tried. I tried to say, take fish. That's all I wanted to do. Just take the fish. Hey there, Bean Place. Welcome to the stream. Okay, what do you want, fairy godmother? Your quest is indeed noble. What little aid I can offer you is this protective magic spell. Effective, but a little while. Well, which way do I go with it? Like, it doesn't last very long. So where do we go? It's not going to help against the troll. We don't really need it to help against the witch. I mean, we could try to use it against the dragon, but I don't know if we can get to the dragon. I mean, it might help us swim. 
We can see if it'll help us go down here. Nope. Doesn't help there. Now to see if I remember where to find the well. That's not where I meant to go, but okay. That's exactly where I needed to go. Climb a rope. Try the other side. Um, exit. Whee! Dive, dive, dive. Dive better. Dive better. <laughs> Watch us get here and the dragon still takes us out. Not off the top of my head, Beam Plays, but I have some ideas. Fairy Godmother's protective spell has saved you from a fiery fate. Take Mirror. Okay, F5. We're gonna call this one Dragon Cheat. Um, because I still don't think that's the way you're supposed to do that. Let's see if there's anywhere else we can go with this. This place is pretty boring. Yeah, the dragon was pretty chill. Okay, we got ourselves another bridge. It's a troll bridge too. Of course it is. Throw dagger at troll. Ha! <laughs> Good job, troll. The troll, the troll is so much more imposing than the dragon. That's amazing. Give him the mirror. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of things I could give him, but I'm fairly certain we need to give him the goat. Hmm. Yeah, Troll has some serious skills. Bush and rocks don't compliment each other, don't they? Why the goat? Don't you know anything about troll bridges? Billy Goat's Gruff? I think that's what it's called. Okay, so we're back to the castle. K. 
Carrots! That's what we need. Take carrot. Okay. Now we get the goat. Still have the spell going. Wait a minute. Yeah, if you throw the goat at the troll and he uh, snatches it out of there. Very impressed. Very impressed. Probably taking the long way around. Um, where is goat? Keep losing track of this goat. <laughs> Flying goat attack. Wait, wrong game. Okay, so this is that guy. So the goat has to be on the other side of that bridge. Faster! Go faster. Apparently this is faster. Okay, so this is the goat, yeah? Goat! Show carrot. To goat. <clears throat> when you tempt the old goat with the carrot, he starts to follow you. This way, goat friend. There's no way this could end badly for you. Okay. Not in the water. What is the goat's name? That's a really good question. I mean, it's a little on the nose to call him Billy. And we're out of spell. <sighs> Eduardo? <laughs> Without the awkward W. Uh, okay, so we lost our spell. We should probably go back and get the mirror and then push forward from there and get the goat again. Thank you. 
now that we know where to get the carrot, we can get the goat and quickly get to the troll. Because it's possible... Uh, get in. Fuck it. Climb rope. It's possible that we need that for something else, but at the moment we don't know what it is. And we can always go back, that's why we have multiple saves. Now, I think it's still faster to go this way. Now that we know, you just go straight to the east from the carrot to get to the goat. Take carrot. Charge. I know William Tell, and you, sir, are no William Tell. Cool. Uh, open gate. Show carrot to goat. I know I can't do it. Hey, come back here, goat. Gotta go soon. Okay, have a gun, Roaring Dragon. Uh, but, goat, come back here. Oh. Well, that's annoying, but that's what I get. And now we know. He's free! He's free! Yeah. That's what I get. All right, we don't have sub-second delay, so we can't get it right away. Pennsylvania 6, 5,000. Thick carrot. Okay, so we've taken the carriage, we're coming back to get the goat. This time we're gonna close the gate behind us so he doesn't get away. Open gate. Close gate. Really? Show carrot to goat. Um, yeah, this way, goat. We need to go down one, and then over. Come on, goat. Are you having issues, goat? This way, Mortimer. Do 
You can make it, goat. You can make it if you try. I know you only have rudimentary pathfinding abilities, but you're still a goat. Okay. Saving! It's a well-known fact that goats hate trolls intensely. You move aside and let the goat take care of this wretched, nasty troll. Boom! can snatch a dagger out of the air, but the goat lowers his head and runs straight for the troll, butting him off the bridge into the river below. That's the last you'll see of that troll. Good job, goat. You're the best goat. Oh, don't, don't go. I want to give you the carrot. Oh, I was going to give the goat the carrot for doing such a good job. Go. You're such a good goat. Such a good goat. Hmm. Really? Turning uh, straw into gold, are you? There's an old gnome sitting in front of his house, whittling. Talk to Gnome. Gnome can't hear you from there. Come on. We shall miss you dearly, Mortimer. That goat works for personal pride, not for carrots. Welcome to the stream, by the way, uh, Baco Master. And Colin. I mean, I probably didn't say welcome, but welcome. Welcome, so Graham, I've been expecting you. I have something that will be of great use to you. But first, Sir Graham, you must answer this riddle. I'll give you three guesses. What is my name? Okay. So, this one is going to be tricky. Because not only do we need to be able to spell his name, but I think we need to spell it differently. Randolph? Why would his name be Randolph? Say? Okay, now I'm going to type it out straight such that we can then fix it. <laughs> Goat was so mad he forgot about the carrot. Okay, so Rumple Still Skin. Rumple Still. Nope, that's wrong. Still Skin. Why would it be Rumpelstiltskin? I don't know. The trouble is... His name is likely Nick Stlitzelpumer. The trouble is, I'm not certain I know how to spell Rumpelstiltskin. So we're going to try this and hope. That's right. Outstanding. I didn't think you were that clever. So any of you who are completely lost, we found a note in the witch's cabin that said sometimes you need to think backwards. And this is clearly the sort of puzzle to which that would apply. As a reward for your shop intellect, here are some beans. They're no ordinary beans, but it's up to you to find out why. 
Somebody as smart as yourself should have no problem at all. <laughs> Well, step over here so I can give them to you. Why? Why? Why would you get so close to him? Here you are. Good luck on your quest. Great. Now I got some beans. We have a lot of things now, though. Handful of small beans. I want to go in his house. You weren't invited into the gnome's house. Yeah? What's it going to do? Kill me? Enter house. Fine. Okay. Regular old bridge. The big question is, where would you even plant them? Big ol' rock. Nothing beats rock. Yeah, I should just take the gold. Take gold. The gnome spun that gold out of straw. You can't take it, but don't worry. If you needed it, the gnome would give it to you. Take straw. Take wheel. The spinning wheel helps the gnome make his living. Please don't take it. But I want it. And I'm going to be king. You cannot deny me a spinning wheel as king. Of all Britons, um, Fusha, pretty please. Uh, okay, let's head to the. You can watch as much as you like. I mean, people tend not to watch on Twitch, but you are welcome. Um. Okay, so there's that. So let's jump in lake, head to the north, and then over. Everybody's strange on the internet. Okay, so we still have the carrot, I think. So we don't need another one. Looks like an ordinary carrot. Handful of small beans. Hmm. Small place might be a mouse. Almost halfway through, how impressive. I, I did just start, but I I have played games like this before. Haven't played this one in particular. Um, what is up there? Trying to achieve right now? Right now, we're just exploring the world. We want to see what all there is and what things can kill us. Because there's always things to kill you in games like this. Whether it's a wolf, or a witch, or a dragon, or falling down a flight of stairs, trying to move a rock. All sorts of things kill you. Here's be some sort of bowl on the ground. Well, that seems dangerous. Let's examine it. Take bowl. Described on the inside of this empty ceramic bowl is the word fill. Guess we should find fill then. And if you're not groaning, you weren't listening. Oh, this part. 
Okay. So, River. Over there is Rumpelstiltskin, or however you pronounce it. We've been through here before, though, haven't we? Hey, the castle in... Oh, Mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Okay, so we need to go around and get that mushroom. I don't know why we need it, but we need it. Okay, so we need to get to the north side. Hmm. He's down to the photomart. I have a feeling the mushroom will actually make us small, such that we can go into that one tiny crevice. No, not over. It's so hard to maneuver at high speeds. Uh, Goblins 2 isn't exactly what I was thinking of, but yes. What? Why, why can't I go in that direction? Fine, we'll go up higher. And go over. What? Is my pathfinding off, or does it not want us to be able to get across there? Like, it doesn't want us to be able to walk there. It wants us to have to cross that river somehow. Like, there's nothing blocking me except something is blocking me. So it's not going to let me walk to that mushroom. That's really weird. So how do we get that mushroom? I mean, I, I suppose I could enlist the help of some badgers, but still. Okay, so no good way to cross there. And that looks real dangerous. Okay, time to save and hop in the river. Raging current pulls you under, never to be found. Okay, now we know. Stop by bushes at every turn. Okay, so somehow we get across to that mushroom. Jump across river. Fine. Maybe plant the beans? Maybe. Plant bean. Can't plant them here, they need special soil. 
Good to know. And we've been here. Hmm. Talk to sorcerer. Sorcerer casts his paralysis spell, freezing you to the spot. Satisfied with his devil tree, he departs, leaving you to the mercy of the forest creatures. Let's hope there are no dangerous creatures skulking about, skulking until the spell wears off. You're allowed to share ideas, just not too many, and particularly none if you know what's supposed to happen. Well, the spell is worn off. You're free to move about again, but beware of the sorcerer's return. Okie dokes. And we're back here. So, we've been most places. Oh, there was a thing I saw in Quest for Glory. Maybe I'll cast a deadlier spell next time. Yeah. Um, I just want to see if it happens in this too. Oh, that's a shame. In one of the Quest for Glory games, you can actually pick locks, but if you hit, if you say pick nose, you try to use a lock pick in your nose and cause a cerebral hemorrhage and you die. Okay, so that was the bowl. We should go fill the bowl. But where should we fill it from? I'm thinking the, the leprechaun pond. Does anyone remember where the leprechaun pond was? See if we can take any more walnuts. I've already picked the only walnut worth getting, though you may not have realized it. Okay. Oh, heavy footballs of an ogre. Oh. You were warned, ogre and ogre again. And this is why we save often. Don't think, is this the leprechaun pond? It is. Fill bowl with water. To your astonishment, something begins to bubble up from the bottom of the bowl. Within moments, the bowl is filled with a hot, savory stew. Okay, where's the woodcutter's place? Um, hey there, Ninja Five O Four Falcon. Um, yeah, it looks like I'll need a goat to kill that ogre. That's for certain. Okay, so we need to find the woodcutter's place again, which is not here. I am so bad at remembering where places are.
And that was my alarm for the stream. I can go a little bit over today. It is Wednesday after all. Woodcutter! I've got some nice savory stew for you. Give stew to wood cutter. The woodcutter is overwhelmed with joy. Thank you, thank you, Sir Knight. We shall never forget your kindness and generosity. Please take my fiddle as a small token of our thanks. Take fiddle. Play fiddle. Oh, we should save first. I've seen a lot of Wednesdays in my time, and boy, this sure is one. Now. Play him off, boy. Play a lively toe-tapping tune on the fiddle. But that's going to be the end of this stream. It's a lot of fun. I love these old type in what you want to do games. I love all the ways you can die. I love all the weird little puzzles. Thank you for being here for this. Everybody who's been active, everyone who's been lurking. Um, it's been a great time. Sorry, Ninja Falcon, that you just got here for the end of it. But it's how these things go sometimes. Uh, on Friday, I will either be playing The Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth or finishing up Guacamelee. I will post a straw poll on the Discord probably sometime tomorrow or Friday to see which of them everybody wants to see. Uh, yeah. We'll come back to this eventually, maybe next Wednesday. Who knows? Um, there will no be no stream on Monday because of rehearsal. There will be no stream on Tuesday because of jazz night with my wife. Uh, but next week, Wednesday and Friday again. That'll be fantastic. Um, this weekend, I'll be working on some Isaac stuff and my bot. So if you're into the Isaac modding, look forward to some videos this weekend. I think that's about everything. So thank you all for being here. And I will see you in the next video or live stream of King's Quest or Isaac or Guacamelee or who knows what with light. <laughs>